Akira Tozawa is ready for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kobe, Japan. Weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa. Tozawa ah, won the Cruiserweight ah. title in 2017, won the NXT North American Championship Invitational in 2018, competed for the NXT title, the first ever Evolve main event on the WWE Network in 2019. Tozawa really was the glue that held together Titus Worldwide. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. What an ovation! Johnny wrestling. What's it about Johnny Gargano that makes him as good as he is today? Unparalleled heart. Johnny Gargano has been through it all in his career before arriving in WWE. And now that he's here, it's a dream come true. Johnny will not let his dream slip through his fingers. Johnny Gargano is that guy who's not going to complain. He's not going to cry over spilt milk. He's going to keep working hard, keep putting in the time to achieve his goals. Akira Tozawa starting things off here. We'll be looking to take flight right away. And when it comes to Johnny Gargano, there is something inside of him that makes him near impossible. Johnny Gargano has become one of the WWE's most cherished underdogs. Look for Johnny Wrestling to put out another great performance tonight. I'll tell you guys, I joined one of Akira Tozawa's fierce training sessions, and I can barely make it back to my car after. I refuse to believe you actually did it and survived. Tozawa's a freak when he's training. I'd have been fine, though. We're beginning to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. And listen to this place. Oh, well-measured strike. Three. Johnny Gargano is the type of superstar who just doesn't understand the meaning of the word quit. Yeah, and because of that, his opponent could definitely do some long-lasting damage. Gargano won't just throw in the towel to fight another day, and while that makes him hard to put away, if you can just keep on him, never stopping the onslaught of offense, you can eventually beat him. His opponent might be able to beat him, but he definitely won't be able to defeat him. Oh, grow up, Byron. Bringing it back into the ring. Hurricanrana. Oh, that'll make your legs numb. Now he's been put on the defensive. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Spinning arm breaker. Connected on that. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Now we have Akira Tozawa on the attack. Uh-oh, bad situation here. We're going to lock it in. It's in. This could be over soon. He's going to be feeling this one for a while. He's hurting now. If he doesn't get out of that corner, he's going to be hurting even worse.
Oh, wow. Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Gargano showing such creativity. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. You know when Gargano gets raw like this, it's so hard to stop him. Gargano feeding off the energy of the WWE Universe. Akira Tozawa just too fast for him. Gargano dodged that one. Oh, flipping the script on him there. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Great evasion. Been kicked right to the gut. He's lost some of his win now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. What's he got in mind? Just a debilitating neck breaker. the cover and he breaks the cover wow Gargano dodges that one and again yet another counter wow what a sequence what a counter Oh, chin locks in. Smart way to wear down your opponent. Now we have Akira Tozawa on the attack. Right to the back of the net. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. Oh, he's as good as finished. He was the favorite for this match, but that's changing rapidly. Gargano needs to harness the energy from the crowd and get back on the right side of this battle. He needs to get off his back and fight. I'd say Akira Tozawa just turned the tempo up. Nothing is going to stop him now. He's going to the top rope. He's trying again. Gargano dodges that one. Tazawa looking on his game right now. Big boot. Senton connects. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Down into the good driver. He's looking a little weary. Now. Oh, we're finding out why they call him Johnny Wrestling. It's locked in now. Fighting for survival. Somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free coal, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys.
Precise. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. He has them right where he wants them. Akira Tozawa, big move coming! Crown flush. This rivalry has just been taken to the next level. for him here in this one. Johnny Wrestling should change his nickname after a loss like that. That was embarrassing. One last thing about this match real quick. It's amazing how fired up this St. Louis crowd was throughout the entire encounter. The Scottish Supernova! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 178 pounds. The Scottish Supernova. No! He's one of the youngest superstars in all of WWE. And what he may lack in life experience, he more than makes up for with in-ring IQ. One of the most highly skilled technical wrestlers in the entire world. Think back to a couple years ago and... Noam Dar's performance in the Cruiserweight Classic and since then has become a cornerstone of 205 Live. He sure loves himself. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! You want to talk about bonafide superstars, you want to talk world travel talent, then look no further than Finn Balor. Former NXT champion, first ever Universal champion, multi-time Intercontinental champion. Wherever he goes, greatness isn't too far behind. You're absolutely right, Michael. Finn Balor is the complete package, and he's got the accolades to prove it.
An incredible atmosphere when Finn Balor enters the room. The bell rings and Finn Balor is here to prove that the demon is ready to make it hell on his opponent. And I'd say St. Louis is in for what might prove to be a match of the year candidate here with this one. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Balor setting up. Oh, what a brain buster. Oh, nasty. Well, Finn Balor is Irish, and they're known for their gift of gab. Bam, suplex. Hook them. Boom. They call Finn the extraordinary man who can do extraordinary things. What exactly does that mean in a match like this, Corey? It means that Finn won't be taken down easily. He's able to dig down deep to keep himself in the match, even when it looks like he's got nothing left. High impact move after high impact move is your best bet to stop him. And even then, nothing's guaranteed when you're up against Finn Balor. Hooked up, and boom, Michinoku driver. Nothing fancy, but very effective. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Now he's looking off his game now. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Nice monkey flip. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. Bam! Suplex! It's the Dragon Sleeper. This could be it. Whoa! He gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. A striking blow. Strong kick. Hoist it up and... No! Riven down. Might only be heart keeping Noam Dar in this match. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. Look at Finn Balor stalking him. Up and 19, 16. Get that instant replay ready. That'll knock you loopy, Cole. He breaks it. I can't believe it. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. up or knock you out. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex! Drop kick by Balor. Oh, that's 
how you establish dominance. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Oh, look at this arm lock. Expertly applied. section out of it in the corner for the first time tonight Finn Balor wants to take a chance Finn Balor up top rope and we are done here this is Finn Balor's match now. And Finn Balor is your winner. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. Balor Club rejoice. Your leader has emerged victorious. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. This young man here is an incredible talent. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing Undisputed Era from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. You know, Roderick Strong really didn't find much success until he joined the Undisputed Era. Yeah, but everything about Roderick Strong is inspiring from his messy upbringing the way he trains like a machine in the gym. Roderick Strong is a threat to everyone that opposes him in the ring. And his opponents, first, representing Undisputed Era from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fatal four-way action coming up in Byron. What should we look out for in this one? This is one of those matches, Michael, where anything can happen, and it usually does. The only thing I know for sure is that the referee will have his hands full in this one. Some are saying he's in the best shape of his career right now. Would you agree with that, Corey? It's hard not to agree with that statement, Cole. I mean, just look at him. I'll tell you, he's going to be tough to beat, that's for sure. Presenting Undisputed Era from Saratoga Springs, New York. Weighing in at 197 pounds, Bobby Fish. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. Oh, guys, wait, wait. 
Here comes my favorite part. And representing Undisputed Era from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. Well, listen, the truth is, Corey, when it was announced that Adam Cole was joining NXT, joining WWE, there was a lot of expectation bestowed upon what he might accomplish. In fact, WWE Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin has even had some very complimentary words to say about Adam Cole. But the thing about Adam Cole is that he has thus far lived up to those expectations. The leader of the undisputed era, Bay Bay. Cole, please, don't say Bay Bay. You haven't earned the right to say that. My last name's Cole. Yeah, not Bay Bay. In these fatal four-way bouts, it becomes very difficult to attempt a pinfall without it being interrupted. It's all about extending your own opportunity, Cole. Pinfalls and submissions are not going to be easy to come by. That's right, because once a fall is scored, the match is over. That's why a key to success in a fatal four-way is being in the right place at the right time. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Ooh. Some good contact by Roderick Strong. Ooh. Picture perfect drop kick. Incoming! Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. Hard impact in the back. What a kick! Boom, what impact! This contest can produce chaotic scenes. Corey, how does a competitor survive the mayhem and destruction to win the match? Well, in totality, you must be able to thrive in a hostile environment against three hostile opponents. Dominance can be fleeting, and partnerships, well, they never last. Drop kick! <laughs> it's the mark. Ooh, right to the face. Powerbomb planted. Uh-oh, bad situation here. We're gonna lock it in. It's in. This could be over soon. Oh, the body's not meant to be stretched that way. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ooh, well measured. He has something big planned. Now that'll do some serious damage. I don't like the look in his eye here. Look at this. All the way. What impact. Referee in position. There's the elimination. That was amazing. Eliminated. Adam Cole connected with a good shot there. Oh, that rocked him. Oh, look at this. Boom! Gutbuster. Back in from the floor. Kick to the gut. Double under hook. Nice. Anticipated that attack perfectly. DDT. Ooh, what impact. Two oh. knees. You're going to need your back adjusted after that one.
Oh, and then it's strong with the offense. Impressive. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budget, Cole. inside the ring. Ooh. Great display of strength with the suplex. Oh, on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam, suplex. Suplex. Into an arm bar. Submission move locked in. Adam Cole's got nowhere to go. He's in deep, deep trouble here. I'm not so sure. Whoa, he, he works his way out. Ooh, right to the gut. He's one step ahead there. Great technical. No Adam Cole looking to end this. Oh, impressive count. Uh, Adam Cole is ready to go. Oh, the last shot. That could be it. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. Two. Three. Adam Cole has Just been eliminated. eliminated. what you remember for a long time. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. And it sounds like the crowd is still digesting what they just saw these four competitors put themselves through.